In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reference or footnote in your assignment. Footnoting is really important as it is part of the criteria and you risk losing marks unnecessarily if you forget to footnote. So what is footnoting? Footnoting is a way to show the readers of your assignment where your information comes from. So what sources or what you have used to research to inform your discussion. Importantly, Footnoting is a way to avoid plagiarism. Um, you cannot claim to use information uh, that you didn't research yourself, so footnoting is a way to avoid plagiarizing. So when do you footnote? You footnote when you refer to historical evidence that you are using, and you also footnote when you are using specific historical information. Now what that might look like. I'll show you in a second. When to do it, you actually put your footnote after punctuation, so after a speech mark, or after a comma, or after a full stop. So here is an example of some student work, um, and in this example there are some instances where footnoting was appropriate, and other instances where it wasn't exactly needed. Now this person has used a lot of footnotes um, just to cover all of their bases. So if you look at this first one, number 11, the defeat of the Axis powers in North Africa meant that Sicily's defense was not strong. Winston Churchill referred to it as Europe's soft underbelly. Now because she's quoting Winston Churchill and because she's found that quote from a particular source, she's used a footnote, number 11, which she's used correctly because it's not a quote that she made up, it's not her own information, it's information from a different source and a quote from Winston Churchill. Here's an example of where she didn't necessarily need to use a footnote. Without resources such as oil, aircraft and tanks, without resources such as oil, comma, see punctuation is important, without resources such as oil, aircraft and tanks were unable to function, 16. Now, she didn't really need a footnote there because that's just kind of common sense, that's just generalized information. Aircraft and tanks need oil to function regardless of what point in history we're talking about, um, and it's not something that anyone would get too stressed over in terms of plagiarizing. Okay. Another example of using footnotes correctly, here, number 18. Because of the victory in North Africa, the Allies gained control of the oil supplies, and so they did not have to worry about resources running short. However, the Axis powers, who were desperate in need for resources such as oil, had their military strategies influenced by their need to obtain secure source of oil, and meant they would struggle throughout the war, resulting in the Allies' victory. So again, pretty specific um, use of historical information, and she probably got that from a source, so she's used a footnote. If you're going to use statistics as well, such as here, during the North African campaign, the Germans and Italians suffered 620,000 casualties. In total, nearly 900,000 German and Italian troops were neutralized or destroyed. The Allies lost 220,000 men. So she's used a footnote here um, in order to reference these very specific facts, very specific historical information. Okay, so those are examples of when footnoting is necessary. Now, how do you actually footnote? On the portal, there is a document here referencing, referencing slash footnoting in your essay that you can use to guide you. And here it is. So insert a footnote by pressing Alt Control F if you're using a non Mac. If you're using a Mac, then it's Alt Command F, which will create a footnote at the bottom of the page here. And after that, you can type in your footnote. Okay. So here is the quote, and the number one here is the footnote. 
Of course, you don't have to use Alt Control F. You can just go to References and then add footnote, and then it will just add the footnote. Now, what exactly do you have to put in the footnote? Well, there's a little guide here in terms of books, in terms of websites, and if you want to use any of the PowerPoints on the portal, you can do this. So, this particular quote comes from a book by Jay Swinton and page 27 from the particular book that it came from. So that's why the details look like this, following the guide here. So pretty simple stuff. It can be a bit tedious, but it is necessary and an important part of your assignment. So please don't risk losing marks for forgetting to footnote.